blog post uh, this week. I'm a few weeks behind. We unfortunately have had uh, lost a few horses here at the farm. So I've been pretty busy managing the herd. Um, I can't really say much other than we have lost a, a few horses. But uh, on to better things. We're hoping to move on from here. And uh, today we're actually going to talk about why it's important to ride with different coaches. So this is something that probably really applies to the riders who own their own horse as opposed to someone who rides in a lesson string. Maybe you lease a horse, um, same thing. You probably, when you ride in the lesson string, just don't have that opportunity to ride with a variety of high quality coaches. Uh, you kind of, you've got what you've got when you're near the lesson string. It's not like you can haul your horse out. <clears throat> So what's, why that's really important is one, every coach brings something to the table, whether that's more knowledge, whether that's different experiences, maybe one has taught uh, para equestrians, maybe one is a dressage coach, maybe one is a jumper coach, um, and they all kind of bring different things to the table. And they usually come from, from different coaches, so they have different terminology. And sometimes the terminology that they use is can really click with you. Maybe one coach can be teaching you your posting diagonal. I'm just using this as an example. Um, and telling you to rise with the outside leg. Um, and then maybe you go to another one, they teach you to rise with the, or to sit with the inside leg, which effectively is the same thing. But uh, the way you understand it is a little bit different when they tell you to rise with the outside leg. Um, and it's really just about the terminology that you learn and how things click with you. Sometimes some way one person might describe something to you makes it a little bit more sense than the exact same principle or the exact same concept described by another coach. Um, I, in the last five years since we've been here at the farm, in this location, I've had the opportunity to ride with a variety of different coaches from you know Olympic dressage coaches, from those who are riding at the Olympic level, from those who are coaching those at the Olympic level. I've also had the opportunity to those who are riding, you know, four stars on their event horse. Um, I got to ride with, oh Lord, if I can think of her name. Anyways, an Olympic event rider. It was really educational. Um, and I really just learned different concepts from all those people. And I put them together in my program and, and push those on to my students as well which is really great. So I've probably been explaining the same thing to them, but I've now have new words in my toolbox to use to help my students understand the concepts that we are trying to teach. It also enables you to push yourself a little bit farther. Like um, if you get stuck riding with the same coach, they know your limitations, they know you might be nervous, so maybe they give you um, a little bit of leeway. Oh, I know that jump's gonna make Nicole nervous, so I just won't put that in the course today. But that other coach is not gonna know that, so they're gonna push you um, a little bit farther, maybe out of your comfort zone, which in sometimes is really good, sometimes not so great, but the majority of the time, that's a positive, positive to happen in your lesson. Um, I can't really actually stand on my soapbox today and tell you how important it is to ride and get different perspectives um, on things. One is not right and one is not wrong. It's the perspective that works for you. And I hope that makes sense and I hope you're all rushing out to see which clinician you can ride with. Thanks.